Hey guys, it's raining again, and I don't even care. I think I found a uh, solution for now to the problem. I just have to pump uh, water from this tank, and that seemed to be the culprit, because that was sort of facilitating the flooding in other tanks and other areas. Even though they're not connected, it was just, uh, it's, it's all moving under the, the concrete. So, to keep that guy uh, low, which isn't a problem, I can move, I can move a lot more water than, than, the, than the ground can under these circumstances. As long as it's not coming over the top. If it's coming over the top, then I'm totally fucked. But I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you my, my dosing machine. Uh, it's all automated, it's pretty high tech. And basically, uh, of course I got my parts, parts A and B and all that good stuff. And what the machine does is just automatically, you know, like adds these uh, with real-time EC monitoring and uh, it works really well of course it was expensive and I had to read the operating manual a few times but uh, well worth uh, it's a good product I'm pretty happy with it so we'll see how it, see how it continues to perform and then uh, I can give you a better recommendation on it so thanks for watching I'm in a good mood today despite the shitty weather I got a cold and uh just kind of like complaining a lot you guys are always cool about listening to it uh but everything's growing well can't complain so thank you for watching and have a good day oh hey and while i'm at it for those of you have, who have used these thai sponges as germination uh devices let me know what i'm doing wrong because I, my germination sucks i've tried everything I've tried uh, covering them, keep the light off things. Uh, I've tried different levels of moisture, uh, and I'm just getting shit germination. It's taking a very long time. But some of this stuff does okay. Like this is parsley, uh, which is doing fine. This is lettuce, which has been in here for five days, and not a single one has popped. They're not doing anything. Um, Basil, same thing. Like, I can't get basil to germinate for shit. This is another lettuce that did perfectly fine under the same conditions. And that's a basil that's been in there for two weeks. And I think I had two seeds pop. And that's why they removed those squares. So, um, if you've got specific experience... I'm not interested in hearing about rock wool cubes and perlite. If you have used these, uh, and you can identify some tips that may be useful to me, uh, please let me know. This is what I've got available to me. I bought 120,000 of these cubes, so I kind of need to uh, utilize them. When the cubes, the sponges do germinate, they work They work beautifully. It's, it's just beginning to seed to germinate. Um, this is a little tiny basil plant. You can see the roots already come out of the bottom of the cup. And of course inside it's being uh, supported by the sponge. So. I don't have an issue with the product, I just, it's the first time in my life I've ever had issues germinating seeds. Um, so yeah, give me some tips. Thanks guys.